This is a leak test by bubble emission following the ASTM D3078 International Standard. The objective of this video is to help you understand the fundamentals behind this particular procedure so you can move beyond the basics and start implementing this method according to your production and quality needs. To begin, we need the following elements. 1. A vacuum chamber. 2. Immersion fluid. and 3. Test specimen or sample. According to the norm, a vacuum chamber is any transparent container with a lid. A transparent plate to keep the test samples underwater. A vacuum gauge and an inlet tube from a source of vacuum. Today, we will be using our vacuum chamber CDV PVVI, equipped with an automatic pressure regulating system, with a touchscreen interface, and built with a convenient draining system for the immersion fluid. In this case, we are using chlorinated water. Finally, the test sample or specimen is any sealed product with gas headspace. We define headspace as the inside volume of the packaging that is not occupied by the product itself. This test is performed by visual detection of bubbles whenever a leak is present. However, since the norm does not specify the level of vacuum necessary to detect those leaks, we need to find two initial parameters, point of failure and leaks at different vacuum levels. To determine the maximum level of vacuum that a package can withstand, slowly increase the vacuum level until complete failure of the package is reached. Using multiple test samples will yield a more reliable result. Once the point of complete failure has been determined and confirmed by multiple tests, it's time to check for leaks. Take note of the packaging type, like mono or multi-layered packages. Each material is usually tested by its manufacturer in order to provide a defect catalog. This catalog might be useful during this test. We recommend using different stages of vacuum to ensure that all possible points of failure are accounted for. There is a possibility that a package starts leaking at, let's say, minus 100 millibar. We should maintain this vacuum level for at least 30 seconds. If there is no visible leak, move on to the next vacuum stage, each time getting closer and closer to the maximum vacuum level previously determined. Next up, we will explain what to do if there are any leaks. But first, we would like to highlight that our CDV can help you to perform different test methods, such as the ASTM D6653, to simulate your product behavior during ground transportation over high mountain passes or traveling in an aircraft. Check out our video for detailed instructions on how to perform these tests. So what to do if there are any leaks? The production must be immediately stopped. If the leak appears in the seal and is present several times, inspect the machine responsible for sealing the packages. Check for dust or debris in the jaws. Adjust the heat of the jaws to make sure proper adhesion or cohesion is achieved without damaging or melting the package. Perform preventive maintenance regularly. If the leak occurs in another area than the seal, check if there is any delamination problem or if punctures are present in the package. There might have been problems during handling or transportation. After finding and resolving the problems, a new set of tests must be performed to ensure that air tightness has been achieved and ultimately that the freshness of the product is maintained. You might want to watch this video to learn more about leak testing. We can share our extensive knowledge base with parameters for many different products in various types of tests. If you are one of our clients or would like to become one, contact us using our client form. Devasi, Package Leak Testing Instruments.